Developing tonight at 10 o'clock, we're learning more about an anti-Semitic attack against congregants at Kesher Israel Synagogue. So police arrested a man they say was yelling a statements that were calling for genocide there at people who were at the synagogue. Our Daniel Hamburg joining us live tonight in our newsroom. And Daniel, the rabbi there says the man also sprayed them with something. Chris and Susan, that spray was harmless, but the intent behind it was not, the rabbi tells me. It comes on the heels of more than 200 threats against Jewish, Jewish institutions across the country just this weekend. You know, this is a country where everybody should be able to worship in the way that they want. Rabbi Heim Schaffner was finishing teaching a class Sunday morning at Kesher Israel. Police say congregants were leaving after an emailed bomb threat. While unrelated, 33-year-old Brent Wood of Ohio, seen here, was waiting outside after driving this U-Haul truck onto the sidewalk. He was yelling, you know, gas the Jews and spraying this spray that smelled bad. It turned out to be a harmless spray. Police say he sprayed a woman jogging nearby and a congregant. Rabbi Schaffner and another congregant went out the back of the synagogue and called police. There's been an increase of anti-Semitic incidents, you know, over the last few years. Uh, but also even more so since uh, October 7th. According to the Anti-Defamation League, more than 2,000 incidents since October 7th. Which is a 337% increase compared to this time frame a year ago. The latest D.C. police data as of November 30th shows hate bias incidents against 22 Jews in 2023 compared to just nine in 2022. ADL's D.C. Regional Director Meredith Weisel says the Jewish community is feeling anxious. This is not normal. This is not okay. Like this is off the charts anti-Semitism that we haven't seen in, I would say, in decades. Schaffner says it's important for people to speak up when they see hate. I think it's important for leaders to be able to speak up and to say, hey, learn some history, make sure that what you're saying has enough nuance. It's not a black and white issue. Wood was in court today and released on bond with conditions to stay away from the synagogue and victims. He's due back in court next month. In the newsroom, Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.